What's up fam? This your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Be sure to share this video. I got some news for you Negroes today. Young Dolph alleged killer Hernandez Govan got violated in court by a judge for doing a YouTube interview talking about the Young Dolph case. And once the interview dropped, I was one of the few people saying, what the hell are you doing? Why would you do this interview? This is a bad look. You have nothing to gain. The public is already against you. The public has already agreed that you are guilty in the murder of Young Dolph. So by you doing a YouTube interview with a nigga named Stan G ain't gonna change nobody's mind. That ain't gonna change nobody's perspective. So why take the risk by doing it? See, this nigga ass backwards. This nigga trying to go on his press run before the verdict. You go on your press run after you're being found not guilty. Then you start doing interviews. Then you start telling your story. But before you go to trial, you shut your ass up. You get with your lawyers. You come up with a game plan. Not talking about the case with a nigga on YouTube. And once I said that, everybody else said, hey, cut you hating. Cause shut up, you just mad cause you didn't get the interview You need to do better and get like him But I was just saying it just doesn't make sense And the judge agreed Cause listen to what this judge tell Hernandez Govin in court Let's take a listen You have filed a motion with your attorney Asking me to review your bond conditions And before we could ever do that I get a message from a concerned citizen that you're out doing interviews. Whether you're talking about this case or not, you're doing interviews. And, and the court doesn't like the fact that you feel free enough to do interviews. You hear that? Hernandez Govan is in big trouble. You see the judge is upset that he's doing interview, and I'm gonna tell you why. She feel like that's gonna sabotage the case. She feel like that's going to jeopardize the case. Negro, we are trying to convict you of murder. We are telling people you are a mastermind. I don't want to get on YouTube and see you kicking back doing an interview. You can sway the potential juries. You can make yourself seem human. It's a reason why you get your ass thrown in jail in shackles in an orange jumpsuit when you on trial. It's a reason for that. Because by Hernandez Govan doing this interview, it can sway the public. Oh, Hernandez Govan is human. Maybe he didn't do it. And the interview kind of did that for some of y'all. Because I read the comments. Some of y'all was like, man, Hernandez Govan may be innocent. He maybe had nothing to do with the young dog case. That's why she don't want him doing an interview. It can sabotage the whole case. And he in trouble. Look at that judge haircut. She got a haircut like my granny. You don't mess with a black woman with that haircut. She ain't going to go easy on you. They hard to get along with. Any black woman with that type of haircut with the little high top fade, cut real low on the sides. My granny got that same haircut. Every woman with that haircut, I never got my way with them. They're always too sharp. I could never get over them. So her name is Govin, you in trouble. Once you've seen that hairstyle, you know what to do. But let's continue. Because what could be happening is that you could be in jail. And it's a whole lot easier to supervise you there. But you've been given the opportunity to post a bond with, with bond conditions, and you're not doing those things you need to do. We're going to review those bond conditions on March the 1st. But let me make myself extremely extremely clear to you that you are to not have any interviews with anybody for any reason. Your attorney has assured me that nothing was said about this case in that interview. And the attorney lied. All they did was talk about the young dog case. He done asked them like six questions about the young dog case. That's why we was watching the interview. We don't give a damn about Hernandez Govin. We don't care about his life story, what he was doing before the young dog murder. All we want to hear Hernandez Govin talk about is the young dog murder. Let's be very clear about that. Hey, judge, if somebody told you he did an interview, you might want to watch it. Don't just go off his attorney word. Watch what was said in that interview. That's all I'm saying. And I, I, I have no reason not to believe what he told me was true. But like I said, you should not be interviewing with anyone. 
You should not be making any public statements and you should be in the house. That means not going to anybody's funeral, put your hand down, you're speaking through your attorney at this point. Yes, that means not going to funerals or anywhere else. That means in the house as of right now. Wait, did she say he tried to go to a funeral or he did go to a funeral recently? Was this Negro at Big Juke funeral? Did he really go to Big Juke funeral? That's the question I want to ask because she mentioned a funeral. Big Juke had his funeral like a week and a half ago. High profile. He was best friends with Big Juke. We all know that. But he denied or not. They in pictures with each other. They in videos with each other. So we know Hernandez Govan have a relationship with Big Juke and Yo Gotti and CMG. Those are facts. But she said you don't supposed to be at that funeral. So I'm starting to think Govan had his ass at Big Juke funeral. Man, that's crazy if that's true. But let's continue. Yes, ma'am. And about you not showing up on yesterday or showing up and then leaving because your counsel thought it was appropriate to allow you to go home because you were getting a barrage of phone calls, that's neither here nor there. When you're supposed to be here, you're supposed to be here. Were you not on my docket yesterday? Yes, yes ma'am. You were supposed to be here. Bottom line. And I thought I was. He instructed me not to come. I, I was like I said, you are supposed to be here. Whether your attorney is here or not, you should be here. Yes, ma'am. Do you want Wait, wait, what? We might as well stop making fun of Gunner with that yes, ma'am. We get Gunner said yes, ma'am. But the more court cases I watch, the more court footage I see, all street niggas say yes, ma'am. You tell me one street nigga who ain't said yes, ma'am in front of a judge yet. So we making fun of Gunna, yes ma'am. We making fun of his mannerisms when he was saying it, but all street dudes act that way when they go to court. See, street dudes are not stupid. They be on the streets terrorizing people. Mugging you, growling at niggas. You pull up the Dollar General, they sitting in their car, you pull up beside them, they looking over, making sure you don't touch their car so they can curse your ass out and promote violence against you. But when they sit in front of that judge, they got their hands folded, Sitting upright, ain't got the gangster lean, none of that. They saying yes, ma'am. So they ain't stupid. They know how to conduct themselves. But when they around us, when they around their own people, that's when they act the damn fool. So Gunner just did what every street nigga did. Yes, ma'am. Every street dude been saying that. But let's continue. You understand that? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand what house arrest means as of this point? Yes, ma'am. I'll see you back here on March the first, sir. All right, thank you. Please don't give me any reason to, to revoke this bond. Right. And then we won't even have to have this conversation. Yes, ma'am. March 1st. Boy, that nigga was yes ma'am in his ass all, wasn't he? And I'm gonna make a prediction about his court case on March 1st. I think he gonna mess around and get his bond revoked. I'm just being honest. Cause the judge clearly haven't seen the interview. All they were talked about was the Young Dog case. The, the San G asked him like six questions resolving around the Young Dog case. Let's take a listen to some of those questions and go there in response to some of it. Let's go. Everybody saying that you know Raven from the cookie shop, from Makita's cookie. <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> hey, what's the old saying? Stan G, believe half of what you see and none of what you hear. Man, <laughs> Raven walked in front of me right now and slapped the shit out of me. I wouldn't know who that lady was. You know what I'm saying? And look, I don't know this. I don't know. I don't know that lady, man. I ain't never met her. I ain't never been to the cookie shop with none of that goofy shit. <laughs> Y'all hear that? So we know some bloggers been blaming Raven and Makita's cookie. They saying they was in on the Young Dolph murder. So Stan G asks on uh, Hernandez Govan, what's your relationship with Raven? He says he doesn't know who she is. He don't know who Makita's is. He ain't never been at no cookie shop. So he basically cleared Raven. The people they say is responsible and the mastermind of the Young Dolph murder says he doesn't know Makita's and he doesn't know Raven. So at that point, we're going to either take him at face value, we're going to say he's full of crap, or we have no choice but to believe him and say Raven is off the table. Let's go to the next question. Because Stan G then asked him, do you know Black Youngster? What's your relationship? And watch Goldman in response to that question. Let's go. What's your and Black Youngster relationship? Man. 
I don't rap. I don't, I don't. I ain't never met no motherfucking black y'all today in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, that's crazy. Out to him though, you know what I'm saying. But now nah, I don't know. I don't know, bro. So Stan G asked him, what's your relationship with Black Youngster? He answered the question. He said he doesn't know Black Youngster. He's familiar with him. Shout out to Black Youngster. So he chose to answer that question. But watch the, what his response when he asked him, what's your relationship with CMG and Yo Gotti? Take a listen to this. What, 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 what's, your, what's your relationship with CMG? Man, I ain't got no comment on this shit. I feel you. I can't, you know, I'm, bro, you know, I'm, I still got an open cake, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's a lot of shit that I can't speak on. I all respect you, you know what I'm saying, you know, and if you're from the streets, you know what I'm saying, you, you know, you understand that I'm sure, hopefully you can respect it too. I feel, I feel. Did y'all see the way his body language changed when the guy asked him about CMG? At first he was smiling, he was laughing, he was more upbeat. The moment the interviewer brought up CMG and Yo Gotti, his facial expression changed. He looked very uncomfortable. He said, I'm not going to answer that. I got an open case. So my question to Hernandez Govin, why did you answer the first two questions then? Why did you talk about Makita's? And why did you talk about Black Youngsters? Are you saying you can't speak on CMG because they are tied in the Young Dolph murder? Is that the reason you can't speak on it? See, now you're picking and choosing what questions you answer. And that's going to make you always look bad. That's never a good sign to me. Because you're doing this interview. You're supposed to try to sway the public. You're supposed to try to plead your case. You did this interview for a reason. I refuse to believe you fighting for your life right now. And you just decided to do this interview out of love for Stan G. Hell no. You're trying to get something out of this interview. I don't know what it is. But you did this interview for a purpose. And by you doing that, it's just making you look bad and guilty. I'm going to tell you what people think. Anytime somebody asks you a question, you refuse to answer it. You say, I got an open case. We don't give a damn about that. You was all on YouTube promoting this interview. Yeah, uh, Hernandez Gomez, I'm finna come on the interview with Stan G. We gonna talk about some of everything. We finna chop it up. Then when you get your ass in the hot seat, you refuse to answer. So the public gonna say, man, that look bad as hell. And not only do you make yourself look bad, you make Yo Gotti and CMG look bad as well. Cause now we're looking at, hey, wait a minute. He answered the question about Black Youngster. He spoke on Makita's and Raven, but when it came to you, he refused to answer. I got an open case. And we all know you had beef with, um, with Young Dog. Let's just make that clear. And another turning point in this interview is when Stan G asked him, do you know who PRE is? Paper Rock Empire, that's Young Dog label. It's clear Hernandez Govan knows who Young Dog is, but watch he say he has no idea who Paper Rock Empire is. Take a listen to this. Hey, one more question, bro. What, what's your relationship with PRE? With who? With PRE. They just they show you love. With PRE. Or PRE. I don't even know what that is. What's this? <laughs> the record label. The record label from the city. I don't, I don't rap. I don't rap, Stan G. Hernandez Govin, PRE is Paper Route Empire, the record label owned by Young Dolph. You know the person you're accused of killing? The person you allegedly put an orchestrated hit on? That's Paper Route Empire. They got artists like Key Glock, Big Moochie Grape, Jay Fizzle signed to it. You know who PRE is, and that was a stupid response to a stupid ass question. We know you facing your murder charge. We know you can't speak on certain things, but by you denying knowing who the hell Paper Rock Empire is, by you denying not knowing Young Dolph, you sound crazy as hell. You from Memphis. Ain't no crime in the knowing who they are. You might as well just say, yeah, I know who Paper Rock Empire are. I know Young Dolph and them. That's all you had to say. But by you denying it, you just making yourself look crazy as hell. Now we know you full of shit. See, at first we thought you was full of shit. Maybe, maybe, you know, this and that. Now we know it for sure. By that response to that question, we know you ain't worth a damn. I'm just being honest with you guys. And that's why you shouldn't do interviews. If there's certain questions you can't speak on, if you're facing a murder charge, you don't want to make yourself seem guilty, just don't do the interview at all. Because when you start dancing around questions, when you start denying stuff that we already know is true, that's when we're going to come up to our own conclusions and say, if he's lying about this, what else is he lying about? That's how we're going to look at the situation. But let's go.
Oh, okay, 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 okay. It is what it is, man. Stay in G. Old rap, and I ain't never had no only rap beef I'd have ever had, man, with Ti. And 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 that was almost how long ago? Shit, before Martin Luther King got shot. <laughs> So there you have it. Hernandez Govan is steady digging his own grave. He's steady finna get his own self locked up. Cause he's doing this interview and he's not thinking smart. He's not thinking rational. Was he high in this interview? Cause it sure seemed like that. Cause I'm looking at the questions. I'm looking at some of the answers he gave. If you're gonna do an interview, you should say, hey man, these questions are off limits. Y'all should do that before the interview. You say, I'm not answering that. I'm not answering this. Give me the question you're going to ask me so I can know how to prepare myself. And you're going to do an interview at all. That's what I'm saying. And you know, the judge said he went to a funeral. And it kind of make me wonder, if he did a 10 bit juke funeral, did he run into Yo Gotti? Did they have a conversation of some sort? That's what I want to know. Who all did he speak to at Big Juke funeral? What was the game plan? That's a very interesting question. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts about this whole situation. But I want to know how you guys feel about it. Do you agree with Hernandez going doing this interview? Or do you think the judge is invoking his rights of free speech? He can talk about any goddamn thing he wants. I know some people feel that way. If you want to talk about the murder charge, let him talk about it. That's him, not us. But let me know what you think. Share this video. I love you guys. Peace.